Hey guys, and welcome back to Mad About Skin. I think it's been the longest time since I've actually sat down and done like a get ready with me, shared with you my current morning skincare routine, and that's what I plan to do in today's video. This is a little bit of a twist, because it's winter here in the UK, super cold, lots of wind, the skin kind of takes a battering, so I want to share with you how I achieve those anti-aging results and maximise hydration all at the same time. I want this to be sort of chill, relaxed, where we can talk about everything going, and share with you how I layer together my current routine. Sit back, relax, let's top my winter anti-aging skincare. Now before we get into this video, I just want to say a huge, huge Merry Christmas to each and every one of you out there. Now this is particularly relevant if you're watching this video on or around its launch date. If you're watching it quite a bit after, that probably doesn't apply. But I just wanted to wish each and every one of you and your families very happy holidays. And let me know in the comments section below what you're doing, what you're celebrating, the things you're looking forward to on all of that good stuff. I also want to send a big hug to anyone watching this from the States or Canada, where, as is global news at the moment, there's a huge snowstorm going on. So make sure you stay safe, wrap up warm, and obviously don't go out unless you absolutely have to. And hopefully this video will just help, you know, pass the time with some warming vibes. Here in the UK, things are still not as cold as that, but still a little on the chilly side. And I have come down with a little bit of, like, we're going to call it man flu, I think. Um, and so excuse the redness of the eyes, the slightly husky voice, but we are ploughing through. I think this is actually quite a good moment to say, if you're feeling unwell for whatever reason, don't feel obliged to do your skincare routine. Also, people reach out and say, if I'm not feeling up to it, am I like neglecting my skin by not? No, it's absolutely fine to take a break. Do what works for you. For me, if I'm not feeling like 100%, the first thing I do is my skincare routine. I feel like it wakes me up. It gives me, it helps me just get through the day. And I actually look forward to doing my morning skincare routine in particular, which is why I tend not to skip it. But it's all about doing what works for you. Now, with all that waffle out of the way, shall we just cut it and delve straight on in? Now, my skin type is super oily and acne prone, but even with all of that, in the winter months, my skin can become a little bit dehydrated, more dryness prone. So you'll see a lot more hydrating steps in this skincare routine than maybe you would in my summer equivalent. And hopefully this will help you work out by just doing a few little tweaks and alterations to your routine. Actually, you can still get those great anti-aging benefits, but also maximize and dial up the level of hydration too. So you're gonna wanna kick things off with a cleanse. In the summer, I always go for a gel cleanser because I need something to remove that excess oil. The same thing doesn't apply in winter, so I tend to go for a cream cleanser. They're easier to get off the skin, rinse away without a trace than oil or balm cleansers are, but they give a little extra hydration than gel cleansers. So I think like cream cleansers are that hidden gem in the skincare world. Um, I reached for my own this morning. This is the Mad About Skin Gentle Jelly Cleanser, which goes on as a really nice cream, but kind of then when you work into the skin, transforms into like a jelly-like consistency for you to rinse away without a trace. Even though I want that extra hydration, I don't want a film left on the skin. I don't like that. And I always worry that the rest of my skincare has to like fight through that film if, it's if your cleanser's leaving one behind. This doesn't, disappears without a trace, but leaves behind a nice amount of hydration. There are lots of different cream cleansers on the market. Of course, you don't need to reach for mine. And I'll link this and some of my other favorite recommendations in the description box below, as well for anything mentioned in today's video. But I think one of the key ways of maximizing the levels of hydration in the winter months is to switch to a much richer cleanser, kickstart your routine the right way. Now, today isn't my day for exfoliating. In summer, I'll exfoliate the skin maybe three or four times a week. In winter, I pair that back. I maybe do like one or two times a week. Again, a minor a tweak and change which will just minimize any dehydration in the skin while still giving you some great exfoliation benefits. Now if I was exfoliating I'd reach for this which is the Revolution Skincare Sally Hughes Collection Placid Exfoliator. Now the Ordinary Lactic Acid has been my go-to for ages and I still love that product so much so if you want to keep it super drugstore and affordable the Ordinary Lactic Acid will be so good in winter. But the reason I've been trying this one out is lots of you guys have said what's your thoughts on the Sally Hughes Collection with Revolution Skincare so I bought the whole line trying it out. Honestly, the products are fine. I don't think there's anything like amazingly special about them, with the exception of this. This is really nice. And it combines five key ingredients to hydrate and exfoliate at the same time. So you've got tranexamic acid in here, which will help brighten the skin. You've also got hyaluronic acid, which is humectant, locks in all that moisture. And three exfoliators. You've got malic acid, glycolic acid, and lactic acid. That's a really nice blend. And whilst they don't actually tell you the percentages, which is a little disappointing, I can tell from the results that I get from this, it's a relatively robust exfoliator that will definitely smooth everything out and keep your skin glowing in tip-top condition in winter. And um, yeah, this is a great option, but if you're looking to do it just super affordable, you can absolutely reach for the lactic acid by the ordinary and get very similar outcomes. 
Now it's time for my vitamin C fix. And another key way I switch things up in winter to maximize hydration in the skin is by switching my pure form ascorbic acid to a vitamin C derivative. In this case, the ordinary ascorbyl tetroisopalmitate solution. I love this. I think I called it like my winter skin savior in a previous video, which I'll find and I'll link up there. But this is beautifully hydrating, has some antioxidants, it's got some vitamin C, and it doesn't dry the skin like some pure form vitamin Cs can. It feels slightly warming on the skin, like a lot of vitamin Cs will, and that is beautiful, because I think we all need that little warming comfort in the winter months. I just glide that across the skin, and it sinks in like that. There's none of that like tackiness or oily film on the skin. It just, yeah, it just feels so good. My top tip all the way through 2022 has been combining your vitamin C of choice with Sika Centella Asiatica, because I read some studies that showed that actually, if you combine these two together, you quadruple the amount of additional collagen produced versus vitamin C in isolation. So while that's still slightly damp on the skin, I go in with my trusted holy grail, the V Green Sika Serum. I love this. Couple of pumps across the skin, it calms, it soothes, it'll boost the collagen, and it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous goddess serum. It also is really hydrating as well, which I personally enjoy, particularly in the winter months. And whilst if this was summer, I'd probably be using just one pump, my skin needs just that little extra TLC in winter, and that's why I go for two pumps of that, and my skin is already feeling plump, juicy, and hydrated. Now for eye cream, I'm gonna go in with this, the Revolution Skincare Pigmentation Intense Eye Cream. This I've been raving about all year. It's so good. Summer, winter, doesn't matter. I reach for this. It has some really, really nice pigment correcting uh, qualities, and it also gives short-term and long-term benefits. So what's not to love about that? It doesn't irritate the eye, it won't sting, and it's a suitable for use on the eyelid as well, which, which a lot of eye creams I can't take up onto the eyelid. Somehow that's my most sensitive area, but this I can. It really, really works. And because it's that beautiful banana color, it gives that instant color correction. So when I'm feeling a bit under the weather, actually that just brightens things up a little bit, reduces any redness that I've got in the eye area. And yeah, it's, it's just a trusty holy grail. Um, another alternative, if you've been bored of me mentioning that one and you want to try something different, this is the Q&A Skin Seaweed Peptide Eye Gel, full of marine and algal extracts alongside peptides. This is a really, really nice option. Whilst I reach for the Revolution one because I want that instant colour correction, if you're just looking for a really effective, affordable eye cream, this you can't go wrong with. And I'll link this in the description as I will, like I said, all of the products mentioned. Now let's come on to the good stuff. And um, give you with that same brand as Q&A that I just mentioned. This is the Marine Hyaluronate Toning Solution. Now it's called Toning Solution, but I'm using it alongside my other serums because it's definitely got that serum texture. Um, this I love. In fact, I fangirled about it in yesterday's video, which I'll link up there if you haven't seen it already. If you want instant anti-aging results, this is what I'd reach for. So many great ingredients to just pack the skin full of hydration and bounce. Um, for me, I just need one um, application. If you've got a very dry skin type, wait 20 seconds, then put another one on top. But this, oh, you'll see in a minute, it just calms, soothes, gives that instant bounce to the skin, which just makes you feel so, so good. And evens out those fine lines and wrinkles, because plumper skin, obviously, those wrinkles will be less noticeable. So this is what I mean by you get that instant fix with that product in your anti-aging routine. And yeah, I just, I just love it. Check out that video where I fangirled about it for a solid like eight minutes. But this has been a true like holy grail find. Now we come into the end of the routine. I, I think a lot of people think that skincare routines have to be like 10, 12, 15 steps to get the benefits. You don't. If you're a little bit crafty, you can actually streamline everything down. And this is a fairly extensive routine. You know, you can absolutely trim some of these steps out. I just, like I say, I enjoy my morning skincare routine, which is why maybe I take a little bit longer over it than you guys might. But whatever works for you, find products that match your budget and the amount of time you have to dedicate to your skincare routine. So I'm next going to go in with this. This is the Ordinary Multi-Peptide Plus Hyaluronic Acid Serum. Now, I normally recommend using the Ordinary Matrixel and the Ordinary Azure Align separately to kind of get an extra couple of percentages of those key ingredients. However, the Ordinary Azure Align has been out of stock for like forever. So as a stopgap, I've reached for the Multi-Peptide Serum, which has Azure Align and Matrixel all formulated together. It's got the benefit of its one step instead of two, which I like. I will still go back to using them in isolation, but whilst they're out of stock, th this is a good dupe and it works really, really well. So a couple of drops of that. 
I just put that across the skin. Um, I would normally, if I was using them separately, I would target specific areas, particularly around the crow's feet. But when I'm using it in this all-in-one serum, just dab it onto the skin and let it sink in. And as that sinks in, I'm just going to talk about my two final steps, which is sunscreen and antioxidants. Now, always use an antioxidant alongside your sunscreen. I think a lot of people think, you know, protecting the skin just comes down to sunscreen. It is a key, key element, but you also need some antioxidant protection too. Because wavelengths of light hit our skin, which is what's going to be protected by that sunscreen, but also free radicals do. Things like pollution, particulate matter, they can stress our skin out, cause oxidative damage, which can degrade collagen, age the skin. So I would always say make sure you've got a truly broad spectrum sunscreen and use it alongside a really good antioxidant to kind of double down on the protection. For the antioxidant I'm going in with this, this is the Mad About Skin All Day Protection Antioxidant Cream. This is actually launching on the 2nd of January, but it's available for pre-order now if you wanted to get your hands on it. Again, linked in the description box below and how you go about that. If you click on that link, you'll see the ingredients, the price, and all of that good stuff, so you can know exactly what you're getting before you do pre-order. But the reason I uh, created this is I'm so fed up of having to reach for individual antioxidants, having to choose a pycnogenol or a resveratrol or having to mix them all together. Actually, I just wanted a comprehensive formulation that was in a cream, not a serum. So you can get some additional hydration without having to have a separate step in your routine. So this has pycnogenol, resveratrol, Q10, ferulic acid, vitamin E, botanical antioxidants, so much all packed into it. And it's in a hydrating base. One pump is all you need for that protection and I just work it into the skin before I put on my sunscreen. Let all of that sink in and then it could do its work and protect you all day long. It actually adds so much hydration that I don't think I need a separate moisturiser in my morning routine. If you've got a very, very dry skin type, then you might want to use that in combination with the moisturiser. It's flexible, you can mix and match. But for me, that gives me all the hydration and plumping I need. As I said, this is going to be launching on the 2nd of January, but if you want to be the first in the queue and make sure that yours is the first to be shipped, then like I said, the pre-order information is all there in the description box below. Whether you reach for mine or any of the other antioxidants serums on the market, make sure you pair it alongside your sunscreen for like maximum protection. My sunscreen of choice today is this, the Mad About Skin Protect and Hydrate sunscreen. You could also reach for any of the other amazing ones that I fangirled about this year. I'll leave a link to my favourite sunscreens up there. Check that video out. If you're still looking for a bit of inspiration for, you know, that maximum protection without having that heavy or ashy look sunscreen, which, let's be honest, no one's about. This is super lightweight, but I'm going to apply it in like 10 minutes when I've let all my skincare sink in. I'll put this on. And my top tip for applying sunscreen is use two thinner layers rather than one thick one. You get a more even application. Somehow it sinks in better. It just works better and in more in synergy with the skin. And you get a better application and end look, if you ask me. So that would be my top tip. Something I always do. But I'll finish with this once everything else has time to settle. So there you have it guys, my current morning hydrating and anti-aging skincare routine. I definitely feel having done that my skin looks plumper, it looks more dewy, hydrated and yeah, I definitely feel a little perkier for having gone through my skincare routine. Hopefully this has given you some inspiration, some hints, tips and hacks for how you can maximise hydration without having to switch up your whole skincare routine. You can absolutely use the same products that you reach for in summer. In winter, you might just do a need to do a few little tweaks to make sure you're getting maximum benefit and value. Before I leave you, I want to say buying the right products is only half of the battle when it comes to skincare. Applying them correctly and making sure you maximise the benefit is really crucial. And in a recent video, I shared with you five hints, tips and hacks, totally free, no coin needed to be spent for maximising the benefit. Now I'm going to leave a link to that one up there. Definitely watch that video after this one. So once you've got your skincare routine nailed down, you know exactly how to apply them for maximum benefits. Because It's all about getting a little extra bang for your buck in 2023. Wherever you are in the world, guys, I hope you have a fabulous holiday with all your friends, family, and just showing you so, so much love and a massive hug. Love you all. Take care. Bye.